every member here knows it's Democrat and Republican. This woman has something that many of us wish we had, and that is it's an inner beauty. And uh, if we could take something away from this event, this tragic event, aside from the issues of rhetoric and besides the issues of gun control and mental illness, which we do not give enough time to in this country, is the beauty of this woman expired. and what she reflects upon this institution. And I yield back the ball to my colleague. This gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from New Jersey. Madam Speaker, I now yield two minutes, uh, three minutes, to the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Gomer. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Gabrielle Gifford is always a bright spot in this rather dull, moody, self-absorbed body called Congress. She's easy to work with, no matter on which side of the aisle we happen to be. We all find ourselves being criticized but few of us have been able to respond with the grace and the class with which Gabby has. Today we mourn the loss of all those killed during the evil shooting spree in Tucson. I know we're praying for the victims' families that somehow, through their devastating loss and heartbreak, they may still find that peace that passes all understanding. For those who have survived the assault, may they find healing in the shadow of the Almighty. Hearing so much these days about the need for congenial discourse, we might look at Gabby Giffords as a living example of how we go about discerning the roadmap to get to the desired decorum. I'm sure both sides of the aisle wish the other side worked with others as well as Gabby does. She makes people here in Congress smile just by showing up. Her flights to and from Washington, D.C. often had us on the same flight to and from the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport hub. Gabby knows I love chocolate. So when she sees me on her flight, she always lights up and says something like, Louie, I was hoping you'd be on my flight. I need some chocolate. 